be a different kind of video, guys. We have got some liney summer shandy here, and we're just gonna kind of talk about life ourselves so you can get to know us a little bit better, um, do a little bit more of a casual thing. This series is gonna be called Have a Beer With Us. So if you got some summer shandy or something comparable, you know this twist, right? So easy! <laughs> anyway, so this is gonna be a little more casual, less scripted, less, you know, crazy cuts, that kind of thing. We're just gonna enjoy a beer. You should enjoy one with us as you're watching this video, especially if you be drinking that summer shandy. It's a good way to start off the summer. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not summer yet, but, but it's, it's close. It's finally getting here in Illinois. Finally! We went to Seattle, and it was still kind of cold and snowy. We came back to oh. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Yeah. Didn't know you could sing that well. Yeah, you do. You don't hear me singing in the shower all the time? Yeah, it's always a little off-key. Oh, sorry. I mean, it's beautiful. You're a mermaid. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah, you got something right here. Let me help you with that. Anyway, um. Anyway. Summer. Anyway. Anyway. You're going to hear we a lot We have to cut that. those out a lot. Yeah, we do. I mean, there are going to be a little bit of cutting in this one, just so that, like, you know, if there's, like, some dead space or something. So, with summer just around the corner... I got itch. Uh, okay, yeah, summer was... So, with summer right just around, around the corner, corner, I thought we would just maybe... We could talk a little bit about what our plans are for the summer, where we're going to go, mm -hmm. what we're yeah. going to do... And then anything else that comes to mind in between, then. Yeah. Yeah, so we're starting off our summer. Let's start with May. We got a lot of shit... We got a lot of shit going on this summer. Already, regardless yeah. i don't know if you guys are like that but like our summers just fill up like that well and i feel like as we get older like each summer gets busier yeah like when i graduated from college i was like oh summer i'm gonna do nothing i'm just gonna lay out in the sun drink my shandy call it a day but now i'm like oh my god there's so much to do there's so many places to go and people to see and weddings we have well, technically three, but one we're not able to go to, so two. Um, Those right. are scattered across the course of the summer. Yeah, Those aren't May. No, that I, we got a little off track. That's okay. That's that's the point of this video. What's like, like? What about big things like each month? Okay, so well, May. Oh, I, can I, we were talking about weddings. So can I just finish? Who cares about weddings? I do. Cause they don't care about any of these except for one. You okay. only care. About. Okay, so one of my cousins is getting married in June, which is cool. Yeah, I'm excited for him. Um, and then I am the maid of honor in my best friend's wedding on September 1st. I'm a little nervous. I've never, I've never been a bridesmaid before. I've been a flower girl a few times. I've never been a bridesmaid and now I'm like, I, I went from like Bush League to Ivy League in like... How about, maybe like Major League, not Ivy League. Oh, whatever. Yeah, that makes more sense <laughs> with, with my best friend. She'd cry. She'd cry, cry. If you're watching, Lindsay, I love you, girl. But yeah, so that's going to be fun. Okay, so going back to May. Shut up, Google. Get out of here. I don't know if you guys heard that. that yeah. I don't know if you... Google just likes to suddenly like interject herself into our conversations. Especially like if we say our dog's name, Coco. It didn't do it this time, but sometimes if we say Coco, it'll... <laughs> It's like, that's not your name, Google. May. Oh, this, is pain. this is painful for us. For me, sorry, this is painful for me. Yeah, I don't mind talking. I can just talk. Well, you usually can just talk, but to, not to me. <laughs> As I said, uh, this is painful. Okay. You're so rude. May, we've got... We got... North the Peoria North Beer Peoria Beer Fest at the Fox. This is the shirt from last year. Um, it's not huge, but it's good. It's good beer. It's like it's all. It's like pretty much all local stuff for us. Yeah, but. it's pretty local. It's just like some top notch beers. Not quite like the regular International Peoria Beer Fest, where it's like a ton of stuff. And it, some of the stuffs, you know, stuff you can get anyway. Did you know that the Peoria International Beer Fest is the longest continuous running beer fest in the U.S. Yeah, we didn't know that until this year. I've been going for like six years and I did this not is 20, know that. 26 years now, I think. Yeah, that's crazy that it's in Peoria. I mean, it's not the biggest. It's not even necessarily the longest. It's just the longest continuous. Yeah, longest continuously running. So, take that. Yeah. Um, so we have that beer fest. And then the weekend after is Cabrua Day! For those of you who don't know what canoeing is, it's canoeing and 
dubious amounts of drinking. In Missouri. Uh, usually in Missouri. We've been to Indiana a couple oh, times. Oh, that one time we went to Indiana. Oh, that last time we went to Indiana, that was... I mean, there's lots of places you can go in Missouri. Uh, we tend to like to go to the same... There's like a, one place that we've been to a couple times, but um, there's a lot of really nice stuff down there in the Ozarks. We're going down there again, Memorial Day weekend. We do a lot of beer drinking, so we're going to get some good stuff to bring there. And then we also are master creators of jello shots. Because who doesn't like jello shots? Okay. They're a hit. Moving on. June. Actually, we don't have a ton in June that wedding. There'll probably be stuff that comes. There'll up. definitely be stuff that comes. You no, know, we're up. working on trying to work on some stuff with some local people, uh, like some local breweries and uh, tap houses. So we'll probably have some new formats or new series coming out. Uh, yeah, I with think them. that's going to be a lot of like new beer stuff is going to be happening in June. So yeah. we're excited for that. And then July, obviously 4th of July, we haven't it's finalized. It's on a Wednesday though. Yeah, it kind sucks. of sucks. But it's 4th of July on a Wednesday. No, we kind of haven't finalized our plans. In the past, we go to this uh, really nice hotel on the Illinois River, which if you don't know, Peoria is located on the Illinois River. Fun fact. It's a dirty, nasty <laughs> it's river. It's a dirty, nasty river. But Asian, Asian carp river. It has the largest fireworks show in the state of Illinois. You would think Chicago. No, Peoria. Again, Peoria killing it with something, right? It's not that bad. At, yeah, Peoria, it's not that bad. Um, but we've done that a quite a few times. Didn't last year, but we've done it in the years past. It's a really good party. You get food, and they have beer, and they have is, tables. I'd like to kind of see it from it's the other nice. side of the river. Yeah. Maybe by... We go across the river to East Peoria for it. So. Which is actually nicer. Usually the namesake, the cities that have a namesake aren't as good. Uh, okay, so and then 4th of July, and then we have our Tough Mudder, which we are not prepared for. Not well, yet. Not yet. We'll get there. I, I feel like I'm pretty good on the running. I'm getting there on the running. I'm. Oh, in May I'm also doing a half marathon with my friends that I, I'm going to be extremely miserable for. I don't like running, but I'm trying to be healthy with all the beer we drink. It's not working. Yeah, so we're, we're training for that. that. That's in Minnesota. We'll it's, probably be too tired to actually do any brewery sightseeing. We might get a couple. Like we one went to one last year when you did it. Before, this year we're both doing it. That was before, doing. though. Yeah, it was. It was the day before we After did it. After you're done with it, though, you're just kind of beat. Yeah, it's like... Maybe it'll be different if it's not quite so hot. Last year was so stupid. Yeah, it was hotter in Minnesota that weekend than it was in Dallas. Yeah, it's like, just insane. It was a heat index over 100, I think. Yeah, it was It was bad. Even I didn't participate last year. I just spectated, and I was miserable and dying the whole time. Um, yeah, so that's July. Then August. August. I am going to Vegas for my friend's bachelorette party for her wedding in September. So I've never been to Vegas. I am someone who, when if you were to ask, me, Lizzie, do you want to go to Vegas? I'd be like, eh, pass. It's just not my scene. Lizzie's pretty boring and normal, so. No, I'm not. I just don't. I don't like casinos or strip clubs. It's like all of Vegas, right? So correct me if I'm wrong, people. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it'll still be fun because it's with my best long. friend, so I love her. And then we oh. wrap up the summer with a wedding around my birthday. Which yeah. Which is the girl who's cray. I say that because also she, I am throwing her bridal shower and it is going to be Beyonce themed. So, slay. You know, what, I'm cray. not sure how many of our viewers care about Beyonce. Do you guys care about Beyonce? If you're watching right now, it's still watching somehow. I think everyone cares. Do you cares. care about Beyonce? I think everyone cares about Beyonce. Who do you care about if not Beyonce? I mean, which, which celebrity would you have a themed party about around? <laughs> Good question. Mine would be Janis Joplin minus the heroine. Uh, probably like, oh, I don't know. Mark Hamill. He seems like a good guy. You're so weird. If you think I'm weird, you're Fine. weird. Fine. I'm gonna pick Matt Lauer. Oh, yeah. People guy. forgot already. People forgot about. Oh, me. that that creepy guy who like had the locking door for the for the ladies. Uh, moving on. The ladies. I'm just so happy to be drinking shandy right now. So, what are you guys doing for summer? Yeah, what are you guys doing this summer? Tell us. We're interested. What is the lives. most exciting thing that you know that you're going to do this summer? 
even if it's just drinking good beer. That's important. Yeah, I mean, maybe you're maybe you're gonna go to Portland. Maybe you're gonna go to Denver. Maybe you're gonna go to Asheville. Maybe you're gonna go to the moon. I don't know. You're just naming off places. I no, thought I'd help. I'm I'm assuming that most of our you know our viewers are gonna are, are beer fans and that they're gonna want to try to go to beer cities like we do. We do try to do that. We're still planning. So after all of our summer fun is usually when we take our fall trip. Last year we went to Denver. The year before that was our wedding. So we went to Asheville, Nashville for our honeymoon. So it's kind of just like when we take our trip. So I don't know where we've had so many ideas this year of where we're going to go. So we talked about going to Portland, going to Denver again for GABF. Talked about going to the East Coast. And that's like very broad, right? Like we could do, we do the, Pennsylvania, New York area. Oh, is that really? Like I was going to say, like we talked about doing the East Coast. We talked about doing the mid east like mid ohio mid yeah mid-atlantic mid atlantic or the i guess the new england area yeah like ohio pennsylvania new york kind of like area a road trip and then like actual the coast like maine boston yeah we'd hit uh, all the good stuff in massachusetts you know alchemist yeah. and vermont so we, trios and then we talked again about going overseas I know we talked about doing Belgium for our 30th birthday, which is next do year. Belgium next year. But we also talked about going to Budapest or Prague or somewhere else in Europe. Prague would be cool. Prague would be cool. All Europe would be cool. I've never been to Europe, so. But yeah, so we got so many places, so, so many things. Uh... Overwhelming. So anyway, whatever you guys are thinking, what are you? Yeah. What are you guys doing? What do you guys, if you have any thoughts about where we should go. Yeah, if you, if you if have some input on where we should go for our fall trip, we're open to it. Because right now we're all at, oh. Maybe we can even have a meetup. <gasps> that would be fun. Yeah, tell us where you are if it's somewhere we want to be. Obviously, if you're still watching, you must like us a little bit. So you can't be that scared off by us. This just seemed kind of boring. We just listed our plans. We didn't really talk. Just kind of freestyle talk. I guess we kind of did. I just want it to be less scripted and just like chit chat. Talk about some other stuff. What do you want to talk about? I'm thinking about that. I want, do you know what I want to talk about? I wanted to talk about Homestar Runner. <laughs> you and I are just like, here. <laughs> Homestar Wanna. The Burdenator. Teen Girl Squad! Cheerleader, so and so, what's her face, the ugly one. I think one of the few lines that you know is that one. No, I know. I can. I, Amy and I used to be able to recite some of the episodes. And Tompkins, uncha, uncha, one, two, three, cha. Leave me alone, or I'll tell teacher. Brush your teeth, comb your hair. I saw Tompkins in his under. Where are you going? What are you doing? Why do you be so short? <laughs> One inch, two inch, three inch, four inch. Uh, that's as high as I can count. I can count to G. That's nothing. I can count to purple backwards. Yeah. Didn't realize your wife is that big of a dork, did ya? If you know, if you remember Homestar Runner, you are a cool person, and I want to shake your hand who and watch some Teen Girl Squad with you. Who doesn't remember at least a little bit of Homestar Runner? You'd be surprised how I've said like some Homestar Runner references, and people are like, "What? What?" Well, if you're like, you know, about twenty-five to thirty-four or something like that, right? If you're a millennial, you know what we're talking about. Oh, I hate that. I hate that we're millennials. Oh. No, we are. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe we're not atypical. Maybe we're not typical ones, but I'm gonna murder you if you play with that anymore. I tried to get all the fidgets, the fidget spinners. To Dan, everything is a fidget spinner. That's true. Uh, it's past Denise's bedtime. It is. Okay, let's wrap it up. <laughs> oh, now we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah, I just really wanted to talk about Homestar Runner. <laughs> Been thinking about it all day. Just watch some. I'm gonna watch some Homestar Runner. Oh wait, we gotta finish our beer. Well, if you guys had a summer shandy along with us, what do you guys think of it? Do you love it as much as Lizzie does? No one does. I don't think, yeah, I didn't think that was possible. 